Hey guys, welcome back. BNSF 6951 here with another video. This video is going to be on the update of my intermolar yard, what I've been doing over the past week. Um, what I will do is, of course, I'm going to show you a slideshow because it's kind of hard for me to uh, actually do the work and do the video at the same time and come out good. So, I will do a slideshow and in the slideshow I will tell you what I'm doing in that particular picture. Anyhow, um, I will show you what the intermolar yard looks like before anything is in it and then I'll do a, uh, a conclusion video of what it looks like when it's uh, all uh, staged up. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but anyhow, um, we'll do the bare table first and um, then we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like after it's all staged up. Hang on and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. If you remember in my last video, I said I still had to do some striping. Uh, well, I finally got the striping all done. And it's the uh, guidelines for the my jacks. And uh, I was going to use the masking tape, the same method I used with the white, but unfortunately, it did not work out very well. Um, it's pretty hard to do a six foot length of one in one sixteenth tape. Uh, so I decided to go with the pin striping as I've gone before. The next thing I got done was the road that runs parallel to the yard. And uh, I got a little road installed in a couple of various spots. And uh, the plastic is thanks to my buddy Steve. Um, that came from his Inamola yard, which I decided I wasn't going to use. Um, anyhow, uh, his stuff is coming in handy for other stuff. Then I will have uh, a bunch of building flats along the backboard and uh, so that's going to look good with another road there and more trees and buildings anyhow um, this is what it looks like now this is the whole intermolar yard as you can see all the way down to the end still need to do the scenery on that side but I'm getting there but another thing I always forget to tell you guys is about this little industry right here this is Praxair they do uh, special oxygen for acetylene welding stuff. So I got the road that comes in off of uh, 30th Avenue and it winds back. It's kind of like a back road that goes into it. And then uh, there'll be uh, 
a little station there to fill up the tank of trucks. And you can also exit out the other way. Excuse all the junk back there, but you know, it's uh, getting small to find space to put my junk. Anyhow, uh, stand by and I'll show you what this looks like after it's all staged up. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. First we're going to start off with the uh, back road that I did from uh, 30th Avenue. It goes back to um, Prax Air. Uh, I always forget to mention this little guy because he's so small I think he's out of the way. But um, I painted the black top and there will be a little office building right there. And another way to get in off of 35th Avenue. Um, I'm using some uh, BLMA um, barriers to block off the property and uh, as you can see back here I start to put some sidewalks in and uh, I'm gonna have a bunch of building flats right there of course these are probably just gonna be temporary but uh, I will have some back there and uh, I did the road I striped it did the white striping put some traffic on the road to give it a little bit of um, action if you want to say but anyhow uh, added uh, some side streets and of course it's not done yet but uh, these uh, are the remains of what Steve had sent me I used it for sidewalks anyhow let's get to the main part of this whole deal that I'm doing right here we'll start off at the entrance to the intermodal yard and we'll travel down and I decided I'm going to keep that building there I'm just going to repaint it and put some doors in it and blah 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 all that kind of good stuff um, anyhow got your semi park in here waiting to get either loaded onto or for their counterparts to come and get them got a couple trucks moving in and then of course we got Robo Crane looks like he just lifted one off of that uh, chassis there and he's going to put it in the stack uh, anyhow, as we look down, um, these locomotives right here, which is a 2 uh, 9s and an SD40, will be the uh, designated power for the intermodal yard. And as we go down, you can see it. And I hope you guys can all see the uh, striping that I did. Um, to me, it looks pretty good. I don't know, you guys tell me. I was going to use the masking tape trick, but for me to uh, paint and apply and cut a 1 uh strip, uh, it was going to be a little impossible, so I decided to go with the uh, pinstriping that I have used previously. But anyhow, that's the overall, overall look of the uh, layout. Hope you guys like it. Um, I guess uh, that's all for now. Um, that's all, folks. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you know what to do. Comment, questions, and uh, subs are welcome. Um, for now, that's all I got. So, I will say, that's all, folks. BNSS 6951, out.